Hello learners. In previous lecture, we have seen the format of financial statement and we have discussed a lot about quantitative and qualitative analysis. Right. So today I will be discussing about the methods of quantitative analysis. So generally there are three methods. First one is horizontal, second is vertical analysis and third one is ratio analysis. So right now I will be starting with balance sheet and I will teach you that how to do vertical and horizontal analysis with the help of balance sheet. Ratio, uh, ratio analysis we will be doing uh, later on. So first I will be starting with vertical and horizontal analysis. So here I have taken the balance sheet of Dabur Limited. You can see the balance sheet of Dabur Limited and we will be learning how to do vertical and horizontal analysis. So if you see here that what actually is horizontal analysis. So first we will read the definition and from definition we will try to understand that what actually is horizontal analysis. So horizontal analysis also known as trend analysis or time series analysis right financial analysts look at financial trend over the period of time especially quarter or year so here what you will be doing you will be comparing your current year performance with the past year performance right so basically what you will be doing you will be taking the data of last five years maybe 10 years or maybe maybe three years it depends upon the financial analyst that how how much data he wants to take right and he will be calculating the differences or he will be calculating the growth right so here let's suppose if i if i uh, do the fundamental analysis of uh, sorry horizontal analysis of shareholder fund right so what i will do i will check that whether there is a growth in shareholder fund every year or not right what is shareholder fund shareholder fund means fund invested by investors right that is going to be equity share capital and regularly how much profit company is earning and what profit company is transferring into reserves right this is going to be shareholder fund so if shareholder fund is increasing every year it shows that company is a profitable company right company is a profitable company and the value of equity is increasing every year so we will check this thing so here i have taken data of 10 year so uh, first year if you see that is 31st march uh 2021 until 31st march 2012 i am having the data so what i will be doing simply i will be calculating the growth in shareholder fund so what i will do i will simply apply the formula and i will check the growth so what is the opening balance of uh shareholder fund it is 1303 rupees and this is the closing balance so simply i have to apply the formula here that is this minus this close the bracket and you have to divide this value right so if you see there is a growth of 20 percent there is a growth of 20 percent oh sorry i should copy this formula here so if you see there is a growth of 20 percent right so this is the base value so here we won't be able to find out the growth so if you see the opening balance of shareholder fund is 1303 right in next year, the closing balance of the shareholder fund is 1,565. So there is a growth of 20% approximately you can see. So it's a good news if you are checking this thing. So there is a growth of 20% in shareholders fund, right? It shows that company is a profitable company or the value of assets are increasing. Now further, if I copy these values, so we will be able to see next year, there is a growth of 22%. Then next year, there is a growth of 23% then 32%, then 18%. And similarly, what you can do, you can check that there is a growth uh, of shareholder fund every year. And it's a good news, right? Every year on an average, we can see that there is a growth of 20%. If I calculate the average of growth, so it will be average. And you can see there is an average growth of 16% in last 10 years, right? So it's a good news. If company shareholder fund is increasing every year it shows that company is doing a good business right so you can you can do various uh, these types of analysis and you can find out whether company is performing well or not if you want to see the debt status of company so in year 31st march 2012 company was having debt of 364 crore and if you see their debt is in decreasing every year and you can see that is decreasing every year so if you want to apply this thing this formula here so simply i can copy these values from here and if you see so there is a decrease in debt right so in 2012 debt was 364 and right now debt is 313 
crore right so there is a decrease of 14 percent so it means if company is earning good profit so definitely what company can do company can finance their own expenses with the help of profit so what company is doing company is earning good profit so company <clears throat> is having enough cash flow with them right so what company is doing company is managing their expenses from their profits and also company is repaying their liability so their opening liability was 364 and if you see their current liability is 77 crore which shows that company is not defaulting in their loan payment and company is a secured company so you can invest in double limited by doing these analysis right and further if i talk about uh, we have discussed we have seen the uh liability part shareholders fund we have checked we have seen total debt now if i talk about asset value right so if i want to find out whether asset value is increasing every year or not so companies whose asset value increases that shows that company is a profitable company or company is a sustainable company so if that asset is increasing so definitely it's a good signal for you it's a good signal for you to invest right so i will apply the same formula here so instead of copy what i will do i will manually solve this equation so you will get better idea then uh, opening closing value minus opening value bracket close divided by opening value so if you see there is a growth of 55 percent sorry there is a growth of 5.3 percent in asset value i will copy this data and we will see uh, whether assets are growing or not so you can see here there is an average growth you can see there is an average growth we can find out the average growth also right we will find out the average growth also so here you can see there is a growth of so there is a growth of 8.7 percent we can see here there is a growth of 8.7 percent this is the average growth by which asset is increasing every year so it's a good signal if value of asset is increasing every year so it is a good signal for any company right so now further if you see the uh, there is effect of this percentage so what i will be doing i will be removing the effect of this percentage because i don't have to uh consider this percentage here so i will be reapplying the formula so yeah so i have removed the effect of this percentage from this total value right so if you see net assets are increasing every year right now if i talk about current assets so whether current assets are increasing we can apply this formula same formula here and we can find out that whether current assets are increasing or not so if you see here there is a continuous growth in current assets also right average growth is of 13.7 percent so if companies sales is increasing definitely the requirement of working capital is also going to increase right if company sales is increasing it means there is a huge demand of product in market right and if sales will increase definitely company will require more raw material company will require more credit from their uh, suppliers so there will be increase in uh, working capital also so if there is increase in current assets it shows that company is uh, requiring more <coughs> raw material more stock companies performing more credit sales right so it's a good signal for company if there is increase in the value of total current assets right now further if i talk about we have seen the value of uh this is total non-current asset i'm absolutely sorry so there is increase in the value of our uh, total non-current asset if i talk about the current assets so we will see whether there is increase in current assets or not right so i will apply the same formula i will copy the above formula here and you can see yeah there is also increase in the value of total current assets and if i take the uh, average so here there is average increase of 8.6 percent so you can see debtors are also increasing on an average debtors are also increasing every year here cash is also increasing every year you can see here other current assets are also increasing here you can see other current assets are also increasing it means company require more raw material company is performing more credit sales that is the reason debtors are increasing company's cash is also increasing every year you can see opening cash balance is 261 and right now the closing cash balance is 835 it means it's a profitable company right so what you can do you can invest in this company uh it's a good signal if the values are increasing right so same thing what you can do you can apply for current liability also when current liability will increase when you are buying raw material on credit from your 
uh, suppliers, right? Why you will be buying more raw material on credit from your suppliers? Definitely, there is increase in your sales. So you are buying more raw material from your customer, right? So it is also a good signal if your current liabilities are increasing. There could be some exception when it will give you bad sign. But right now, other things are okay. So we can assume that current liability increase is also okay. It means company is buying more raw material on credit from their uh, supplier, right? So if you see there. Uh, on an average, increase of current liability is 7.2%, right? So this is what a horizontal analysis, what you will be doing, you will be comparing your current year performance with past year performance, right? So this is a detailed analysis, right? You can see what we have done. We have calculated the increase in shareholder fund. We have seen the decrease in debt. Why there is a decrease in long-term debt? Because company is a profitable company and no profitable company wants debt in their organization because they will be able to finance their uh, expenses with the help of their profits. Right. So you can see these things we have discussed in coming lecture. We will be discussing about vertical analysis of balance sheet. So thanks a lot, guys. Stay tuned with us for more and better learning. Thank you.